Hi, this is Lee Wind of I'm Here, I'm Queer, What the Hell Do I Read? And I'm here with... Benji, and I'm Gender Brett. So, hi Benji. Hi. It's really nice to do this again. And I wanted us to talk a little bit more about role models. Okay. I would definitely say that Sylvia Rivera is one of the more well-known uh, role models or, you know, historic figures in trans queer communities. She's at least credited with throwing the first shoe <laughs> cocktail, whatever you, you, your version of the story is, at, <laughs> at, um, in the Stonewall riots. Um, and she was... Well, I remember hearing that it was drag queens, but it, yeah. it was also transgender people. Well, so the vocabulary has shifted a lot in the past few decades. A lot back then was centered more on terms like transvestite and drag queen, whereas now trans or transgender tends to be the default, but back then transgender hadn't even been coined as a term. So vocabulary, language is fluid. Um, but people existed before there were terms. Exactly. I remember reading recently <laughs> something about like, oh, well, they couldn't have been gay because the, the term didn't exist. I'm like, well, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys had crushes on guys way <laughs> before the word homosexual was invented. Thank you very much. Exactly. So... But she was definitely, you know, very much what I would describe as queer, um, uh, Latina, homeless for much of her life, sex worker for much of her life as, as her primary means of income, at the same time was incredibly strong, incredibly fierce, founded groups like STAR, which was street transvestite action revolutionaries, um, and, you know, got arrested all the time, and even when she had very little income herself, really worked to provide for other street queers, for, for street youth, um, and was a wonderful role model and mother figure to them, and you know, set up her with uh, Marsha Johnson, set up temporary housing, group housing, for, to try to get some of the girls off the street so they didn't have to work the street, even though you know, Sylvia and Marsha themselves were the ones hustling in order to provide an income for, for these girls, and she really, you know, gave her blood, sweat, and tears to, to help other people. Wow, that's amazing. And how did you find out about her? Uh, about her? Is that okay to say? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, I, I, I can't remember. <laughs> I mean, just sort of part of community group knowledge of that, that she existed and was this incredibly powerful figure. I and, think and there's a project now, right? There's some organization named after her? Uh, yeah, in New York City. Uh, the Sylvia Rivera Law Project is, is named after her. And, and she was very aware that in the beginning, you know, more... The, the rights movement that started at Stonewall was more inclusive and then very quickly, through gender nonconforming trans people under the bus, said, you know, you're not going to be in our names and our mission statements. And one of the, her quotes is, hell hath no fury like a drag queen scorned. So she was, she, she knew what was happening and fought very hard against it. Sylvia Rivera sounds like quite a role model. Yeah. Thank you.